previous episodes, we've talked a lot about landscaping, different types of plants we can have in the yard. But one of the things we haven't touched on is thinking about plants and the relationship with pets. There are various types of plants that are actually poisonous to pets. Some of these landscaping plants are actually fruits and vegetables that we plant for food. Behind me, we have a rhubarb, which the leaves are poisonous to humans and pets as well. If you're curious about what specific plants are poisonous to your pets, we suggest that you consult your local veterinarian. Some of the common fruit and vegetable plants that are poisonous to pets include rhubarb, cherries, specifically the pits of cherries, grapes for dogs, onions, and tomatoes. There are two main methods for making sure plants and pets don't mix. The first is obviously making sure that pets are excluded from touching these plants or coming into contact with them. The other option, and probably the most important, if you really want to avoid poisoning incidents, is making sure those plants are completely removed from the landscape. If you're moving into a new house or unsure about what plants might be in your backyard, contact your local Extension office for more help. From the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Brian Sebade, and you're watching From the Ground Up.